Think about how you got where you are today. Who influenced you the most along the way? Think about the coaches, parents, mentors, and friends who helped you see who you could become. Stood by you when you made mistakes and guided you when you weren't quite sure which way to go. What a great picture we see here today in Numbers chapter 27. Moses was coming to the end of his leadership among God's people. They had finally reached the promised land, but because of Moses' disobedience, he wouldn't be allowed to enter. The second half of Numbers 27 marks the beginning of the transfer of Moses' leadership to someone else. And while Moses wasn't a perfect leader, he cared deeply for the people of Israel. We see this love on full display in verse 16. O oh Lord, you are the God who gives breath to all creatures. Please appoint a new man as leader for the community. Of all the things that Moses could have talked about to God before he died, his first concern was for the people he would leave behind. Who would lead them? Well, the, the Lord replies beginning in verse 18. Take Joshua, son of Nun, who has the spirit in him, and lay hands on him. Present him to Eleazar the priest before the whole community and publicly commission him to lead the people. Transfer some of your authority to him so the whole community of Israel will obey him. Check it out. The same way that others have influenced us and Moses influenced the nation of Israel, we are influencing others with the way that we lead. We're all leaders. We lead our families, we lead our friends, we lead teams at work, at school, and at church. But if something happened tomorrow, who would take our place? Would we even care? You see, too often we get so focused on our own legacy or how to stay on top that we don't think about what happens when we're gone. Listen, we won't be around forever and the best legacy that we can leave is how we loved those around us. I'm reminded of the words in the first three verses of 1 Corinthians. If I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy, and if I understood all of God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith that I could move mountains, but didn't love others, I would be nothing. If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it, but if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. Moses knew and loved the people of Israel. He prayed for them and he shed tears for them. Let me ask you today, how would our workplaces, our schools, our churches, and even our communities change if we allowed ourselves to love like this? and be as emotionally invested in the people we lead.